Assalamu alaikum, peace, Imhotep, top of the morning. So I'm gonna give you an update in regards to the fundraiser for the soup kitchen. And I'm going to give you an update in regards to the fundraiser for transitional housing. For, there's two different organizations. There are like two wings of the same dove. And the dove is a symbolic of peace. And you know, Islam means the way of peace. The salam means peace. All right? Ansaullah, the peacemakers. All right, in regards to the soup kitchen, um, I'm sure y'all seen the news when they highlighted Latino Muslims of New York, they highlighted the sister, and all that is true. And even from a personal account, um, during the first time when we gave food to the homeless, um, it, does, it, does, it does something inside, like, um, not a braggadocio feeling, but as far, as far as it feels good to help someone that's in need. And you know, except, you, and you don't want nothing back in return. You know, no money, no credit, no highlights, just doing a good deed. And the time of Ramadan, it's best to do good, best to give than to receive, right? Now, for Latino Muslims of New York, as a whole, every day, and the face of Latino Muslims of New York is Sister Tusha, due to the fact that she's been a frontline worker before COVID-19, during COVID-19, after COVID-19. Um, even if this is the new normal, um, she feeds over 100 people a day. Um, she go buys the food, she prepares the food, she cooks the food, and she delivers the food. Um, and that is one reason why Latino Muslims of New York are in need of volunteers, particularly of volunteers who have vehicles. So therefore, Latino Muslims of New York will have more help and will be able to provide food to more people, right? In addition to that, the fundraiser for a soup kitchen is still needed in the Bronx. Um, we already have the storefront, um, but we still need the monies um, and additional funds. So I thought we could have this storefront and convert it into Latino Muslims of New York soup kitchen and halal pantry. Um, for further details, you could definitely get in contact with me via Facebook through Messenger or through LinkedIn through the Messenger. Peace. Now, in regards to the fundraiser for the transitional housing, Atrevete. That's the startup organization. It's going to be a domestic non for profit organization that is dedicated to all the transitional housing, prisoner reentry, family services, gang intervention and prevention. Now, the last time they did statistics was back in 2016. So according to the statistics that was done by New York State Department of Corrections and New York City Department of Corrections, there are approximately 10,000 people that are on Rikers Island. And upstate, there's approximately 52,300 people that are in New York State Department of Corrections. Out of all that, one in five is a Muslim. Now, according to NPR, Muslims are overrepresented in state prisons. Muslims make up about approximately 9.1% of the prison population, but yet only make about 2% of the United States population, right? Now, in 2018, the powerhouse for the formerly incarcerated, which is Force and Society, they have done a research and did a press conference. And their statistics indicates that 50,514 people cycle through New York City jail system, right? 50,514 people go through Rikers Island. Not every single person go upstate. Some people are released to probation or alternative to incarceration. Um, and 26,000 people out of all that are released every year from Rikers Island. That's 26,000 people, right? Now, it is unstable to live and it could lead to recidivism and substandard housing. Now to get help, a formerly incarcerated individual 
would have to live in the street or in a shelter for 90 days for a phony incarcerated individual to get help or any type of help. So that is why transitional housing is very much needed. Um, safety is one of the first primary concern an uh, individual has when they are released from prison. And majority of prisoners do not want to go to a shelter, which is another replica of an institutionalization. Um, so therefore, we also want to reduce the recidivism rate. You know, when you provide housing to a phony incarcerated individual, they'll be able to think clearly. And then they can focus on other, on other issues that they need to address to reintegrate into society, such as family services, cognitive behavior therapy, job readiness, things of that nature. And the other sad point is that when individuals are released from prison, and they're not even considered homeless. Even they're staying with someone for a few days and they don't have their own leave, they're not considered homeless. So they can't really get help from no one unless they have HIV and AIDS and they could get help from HASA. Um, now, there's two organizations that will help a formerly incarcerated individual, but once again, that's after 90 days. And that is HUD and that is SAMHSA. That means if you suffer from severe mental health and you meet the criteria, low income, they'll be able to help you, but after 90 days. So what's happening within that 90 days? If an individual is strong, they could survive. If they're not strong, um, they could commit another crime, be incarcerated. So therefore, the goal is to reduce recidivism, reduce poverty, reduce homelessness, and bring up the economy, you know, and help individuals become self-sufficient and reintegrate into society. You know, it's based, this is all based on the hierarchy of needs. You know, people, people want to feel safe when they come home and they also need a place to live. So once that fundamental is, is done, then we can work on other things. So once again, um, if you want to donate funds, anything from a dollar to whatever, for a soup kitchen, which is for Latino Muslims of New York, Please get in contact with me through Messenger on Facebook or on LinkedIn through the message. If you want to donate money to Atrevete for transitional housing, same thing. Message me through Messenger on Facebook or message me through LinkedIn and we can take it from there. Assalamu alaikum, peace, Emotep. May everyone have a peace and blessed and productive day.